Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well here in this presentation. I'd like to explain to you a little bit about Omnet++, what is the Omnet++, what are the networks that it can support, and what are the frameworks. So let's start. Omnet++, which stands for Objective Modular Network Test Beddings C++, is a modular component-based C++ simulation library and framework and, uh, uh, for building network simulators. Omnet++ can be used for free for non-commercial simulations like at academic institutions or for teaching. Uh, let's... Uh, tell you what are the main ingredients of the Omnet++. As you can see here, the simulation kernel library, C++, the net topology description language, the simulation IDE base on the Eclipse platform, the interactive simulation runtime GUI, and common line interface for simulation execution, utilities, uh, make, file, make file creation tools, and etc. and documentations in sample uh, simulations. Uh, you know, during these years, Omnet++ has been available. Countless simulation models and model frameworks have been written uh, for it by researchers in diverse areas. Most of these model frameworks are open source, developed as independent projects, and follow their own release cycles. So, um, uh, let's see what networks can be supported by Omnet++. As you can see here, the wired networks, the wireless networks, ad hoc networks, uh, wireless sensor networks, WSN, and uh, wireless area body uh, networks, uh, 5G LTE networks, vehicle, uh, vehicular ad hoc networks, and um, UN STN based networks, peer to peer networks, and recently UAV networks and ARENA networks, uh, and so uh, on. Okay, there are some frameworks that when we wanted to simulation these networks, we need to know about the frameworks. Uh, the first and most important one is INET. And then INET Manage for .x, uh, SimulT, Veins, OverSim, ANSA, ArenaSim, OpenFlow, Castalia, uh, uh, Avens, and many other frameworks. That you can see the other frameworks from this website. Let me show you guys here. Uh, you can see the list of frameworks here and uh, the, their websites and GitHub codes. Uh, so you can check other frameworks here. Okay, let's back to the presentation and continue. Uh, in the following, I'll uh, give you some explanation about the um, uh, frameworks. Um, as I told, um, told you, the INET is uh, one of the most important frameworks, which is an open source model library for the Omnet++ simulation environment. It uh, provides uh, protocols, agents, and other models for researchers and students working with communication networks. You know, it is especially useful when designing and validating new protocols or exploring new scenarios. It uh, contains models for internet stack, uh, such as uh, TCP, UDP, IPv4, IPv6, OSPF, BGP, and uh, other protocols. And for wired, uh, for wired and wireless um, link layer protocols uh, such as Ethernet, um, IEEE 802.11, and etc., it uh, supports uh, the mobility, the managed protocols, GIFSERV, MPLS with LDP, and um, so on and other several application models and many other protocols and uh, uh, components. Uh, several other simulation frameworks take INET 
as a base and uh, extend it into specific directions such as uh, vehicular networks or like peer-to-peer -peer networks or LTE that we can see them in the following in the next slides okay let's pass it uh, the next one is INET MANET 4.6, which is a fork of INET framework uh, 4.x branch. And, uh, you know, it's uh, maintained by someone whose name is Alfonso Ariza. I'm not sure if I am pronounce uh, his name correctly, but anyway, INET MANET is kept up to date with INET and experience extends it with a number of experimental features and protocols, mainly for uh, mobile ad hoc networks and uh, many of them uh, written by that person. Uh, the next one is um, SimulTE, uh, which is an innovative simulation tool that uh, enables complex system levels performance evaluation of LTE and LTE advanced networks uh, on the Omnet++ framework. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, it is uh, fully customizable via a simple pluggable interface and allows uh, one to extend it with new algorithms and protocols. And um, Simu LTE is built on the INET framework and um, uh, and uh, uh, extend it with LTE user plane uh, protocols. Um, so, and uh, finally, I should say, I should um, tell, um, tell you, it developed at University of Pisa in Italy. Okay, you can find uh, more information about it on the internet. So let's um, talk about the next one. When Wayne's uh, vehicles in network simulation, it is an open source inner vehicular communication simulation framework composed uh, of an event based network simulator and a road traffic simulator using uh, co simulation. And uh, yes, the next one is Oversim. The overlay network simulation, um, which is um, again an open source overlay and peer to peer network simulation framework for the Omnet Plus Plus simulation environment. It contains several models for structured and unstructured peer to peer protocols. So it's suitable for peer to peer and peer to peer network simulation. And uh, it was developed at the Institute of uh, Telematics um, at the University of TH, which is a German university. And uh, I'm not sure about the pronunciation of the name of this university anyway. And uh, it funded by the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research. The next one is ANSA, Automated Network Simulation and Analysis, um, is uh, dedicated to development of a variety of protocol models based on RFC specifications and um, reference implementations. The ANSA package extends INET framework with, um, uh, with uh, several protocol models is uh, maybe publicly used as a routing switching baseline for further research um, and uh, in simulation proving or disproving certain aspects of network technologies such as finding uh, bottlenecks and single point of failures and such like. It's a long-term project carried out by researchers and students at Brno University of Technology, Czech Republic. Uh, the next one is ArenaSim, a recursive inner network architecture simulator, and um, is a standalone Omnet++ model framework for the simulation of uh, Arena-based networks. 
And uh, as I told you, RENA, is, uh, RENA stands for a recursive inner network architecture itself. It's a new and clean slate architecture that tries to touch and codify every part of communication with computer networks. The main purpose um, is to offer the community with reliable and most up-to-date tool for simulating RENA-based computer networks. So, um, okay, let's uh, pass the slide. The next one is uh, OpenFlow extension for INET framework. Uh, you know, meh, it's uh, suitable for a software-defined networking SDN, which is a new paradigm for communication networks and separates the control plane from data plane of forwarding elements. This way, uh, SDN constitutes a flexible architecture that allows quick and easy configuration of network devices. And, uh, you know, OpenFlow is currently the most uh, prominent approach which implements the SDN concepts and offers a high flexibility in the routing of the network flows. So if you wanna to if you wanna implement a SDN based network, you can uh, use uh, this framework. And the next one is um, Casalia. Uh, which is suitable for wireless sensor networks, body area networks, and generally networks of low power embedded devices. And, uh, you know, uh, it, is, it, it is used by researchers and developers to test their distributed algorithms and protocols in realistic, in realistic wireless channel and radio models. And uh, Castalia's um, features include model for temporal variation of path laws and, uh, uh, you know, the RSSI calculation, physical process modeling, and uh, several popular MAC protocols implemented. Okay, and the last one uh, is Avans which stands for Aerial Vehicle Network Simulator. It is suitable for flight simulator and for modeling UAVs networks, the uh, unmanned aerial vehicles uh, communication. And it offers a platform for mobile and uh, mobile attack networks analysis where UAVs are mobile nodes. Um, the purpose of Avans is to offer a platform for uh, mobile attack networks um, and the goal is uh, to use a flight simulator for controlling the aerial vehicles and a network simulator for obtaining network measurements such as transmission rate, good boot, RSSI, um, packages, loss, number of retransmissions and etc. Uh, you can see more. You can find more information about it in a website that I've already um, shown you. Okay, I hope you enjoy. Good luck. Like.